I'm continuing my historical journey through the 1820 settlers. So, at the moment, I'm in a place called Salem, in a graveyard. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. And it's a stunning little place. Old church, I think it said there 1832, it was established and built. And now I'm trying to find some old, old graves dating back to that time. I found some from 48, 1848 and so on. Look at this little one. Metal. This church, where's the weight? I'm coming now. This church sits on the edge of a cricket pitch. An old, old cricket pitch. If you look at my drone video, you'll see it. Right at the end is the clubhouse. Show you back there. Right over there is the cricket field. Some more gravestones. Oh, here's maybe something older. Can you check this one out? All right, let's go walking into the church. Just want to show you what it looks like in here. It is open. Look at the key. This little settler's village, meaning peace, was built by settlers who arrived on ship from England. They were taken inland by Oxwagon and then unceremoniously dumped in the middle of nowhere to act as a buffer for the Cape. They're still in use today and the cricket pitch is regarded as the oldest cricket pitch in the country. Yeah, a very old church. Glad to have discovered this. And it's about 20 k's away from Kenton on Sea, away from the coast. Another little gem. Lock it up. Last, I just want to show you the lock and the gate as I walk out of here. This reads, on the hilltop opposite in January 1835, Richard Gus dissuaded the, whoever, from attacking the settlers in Lager at Salem. 